Every year we learn about the struggles of our ancestors, but what about what black people are doing today? Of course, it's important to remember the past, but it's also important to look how far we've come. Jordan Peele swept the nominations for the biggest awards at the Oscars for Get Out, a parody of black relations in America. Ryan Coogler in Marvel's Black Panther continues to break box office records even before its February 16th release, having the highest selling pre-sale tickets for the superhero movie, and is set to break Marvel's opening weekend box office record. TV show hit maker Shonda Rhimes struck a multi-year, multi-million dollar deal with Netflix that will go down as one of the largest deals in the streaming services history. Me Too movement founder Tarana Burke finally got her flowers as one of the first to speak out against sexual assault. The National Museum of African American History and Culture opened in Washington DC and received more than a million visitors in its first four months. College graduation rates among African Americans have nearly doubled in the past 20 years with 23% of all African Americans earning college degrees. Black entrepreneurship is soaring with businesses owned by black women alone pulling in $51.4 in revenue. And even though the Obamas are out of the White House, they've still been making rounds on television and social media, so we don't have to miss them too much. And Will Smith joined Instagram. In an age when black lives matter needs to be said as if someone thinks otherwise, when Nazis are a thing that we have to worry about again, and when civil rights are being threatened daily, it's nice to remember that black people are flourishing in every area of life. Black History Month is no longer a month to bemoan the past, but to celebrate the future of black excellence. For Uproxx, I'm Brett Ellis.